Dallas ISD says Hispanic students now account for 70% of the district's total student body. Because of this, the district has made an effort to offer a class to high schoolers that is reflective of their heritage. Aaron Jones gives us a look. We're going to go over your project. He's one of the first in Dallas ISD to teach Mexican American studies, which he says historically has been missing from history books. We do have a majority of Hispanics in DISD, and it really is a big disservice when they're not seeing their side of the story or their contributions to American history. Luis Macias explains it wasn't until two years ago that the Texas State Board of Education approved this course as a state credited course for Texas high school students, and Dallas ISD immediately got on board. I mean, how could they not be open to it, right, um, with, with the Hispanic population that DISD has? We do believe that this paves the way for giving students a better perspective. Macias says as he started this class, he was surprised to find out a lot of his students don't really know about their heritage. Yeah. The very first day, and I asked him, you know, to, uh, you know, can you think of any Mexican-American that has made a contribution to, to the United States? And the, the, the main thing that they tell me is Cesar Chavez. They know his name, but they don't know what he did. They don't know um, about any other people who have made contributions. His student, Valeria Facuto, says it's learning information like this that made her want to sign up for the class. Surrounding myself with Mexican American students and with Mr. Macias can help me gain a sense of ga gaining my culture back. Macias says right now this is a one hour elective course, but in the future he hopes it will become a required part of the district's curriculum. All Americans should be taking this class, just like more Americans should be taking African American studies. So that way we learn about a different culture other than our own. We understand where they're coming from. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.